little time as they now go for the execute. The site is completely empty. It's been vacated. And they'll be able to get a free spike plant out of this one. Drone. Spike 30 plant. HP as he tries to come into the site. Shank says, no way. Site's closed. In the words of the little girl from Forrest Gump, site's taken. Oh. No? Nope. Don't, do you don't know the reference? I'm disappointed. <laughs> You're a boomer too. She says seat's taken, but she's got a thick southern draw, so it sounds like she says sight's taken. It's a bad joke. I'm old. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, we do have a big paranoia to come through. The attempt as well for TSM. Coming outside the window, that's three kills with Classic, so that works out. A two versus one to go. Neptune to pick up three kills. Come up big again. Cover going out. Cutting their vision. There's the flash coming wow. out. Hayes doesn't stand a chance. Tried to either throw down a flash of his own or a smoke. But instead just gets overwhelmed, bombarded by that fast play onto the site. And you've got Empress popped now by Shanks. Increasing the fire rate and, and the fire rate and decreasing the likelihood. Of a TSM round win. Nice shock dart into the backside of sight that allows Wardell to get into a better position with the operator. Smoke starts to fade. It's another pickoff for Wardell. He's going to have to hit a quick scope. Doesn't get it. It's now down to Cutler. We caught him Clutchler in the pregame. Does he have what it takes here? Nice recon dart and takes down JMO. He's got time still. 51 HP, though, is going to be his biggest barrier. As the clock starts to tick down lower and lower, and now well it's lost. Not much can be done. Well played by Gangsta. But the camera is going to give enough position. They're going to spot it. They're going to smoke it right away. Stealing sight. And you just hope to get an upper hand in the end. Big paranoia, but it's protected by teammates. The crosscars are there. The trade in the end, too. But it's going to be JMO with a 4K. Now, now you know they're playing behind default. This is the call for them to explode in. I like this. JMO gets vertical as well. Tailwind into an updraft and just gets vertical over his opponent. Spike Easy kill picked up with the Blade Storm. Now Haste has managed to drop Shanks in the meantime. And Haste is still in position, finding kills from Heaven. 28 HP, but Haste has gotten two to bring things back to a three on three. They still have to contend with JMO, who's got that Blade Storm active. There's two players sitting in hell currently. This paranoia that's getting prepped. We'll see where it goes. It actually goes to the close corner, so they're going to clear that out first. One, Still got JMO in position, but it's one, down to JMO, and JMO only. The right click is right on the money. No smokes left, so JMO just has to fly out. It's knives against Op, and he gets this. Everybody's falling back towards the spawn side. A stinger in the hands of Cutler. Still time to you work. Know, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't see Drone go up into the window with Zabroza peeking towards mid garage. Yeah. Over. Would have been interesting to see how things changed the dynamic on that. JMO is going to shred apart Will Wardell's drone. At least finds one on his bolt entry into the site with run it back. And that gets taken care of. But the clock is becoming a problem. Hayes has to move in closer. Nice clear coming through. It allows the peek from JMO as he's focused more on long than short. And JMO is going to cap off the 4K. Performers from Immortals combined have 20. So, kind of illustrates the issue currently. As TSM has to get back into yet another site, losing control of this A site, trying to play for the retakes. The drone will go in first, flying around the corner with another drone just behind him. This one's actually alive, though. Nice big paranoia coming through, and he can't dodge that one. Well one placed from Immortals, and this is looking disastrous. There's only one player left standing. It's Sabroza. He's on the other side of the play. Might be able to get one kill, and I hope he does. Otherwise, it's a flawless round victory for Immortals. Disappoint and yeah, he gets... An easy shot to the back of JC Stanny's skull. But they know where he's at at this point, and there's not much that can be done. Goes for the dart pole. They're going to go for the swing. Dismissed to get away. A dash out from JMO. I like the move. Popped as well. There they go into the site. JC Stanny back box with the into the shadows. Spike not enough planted. charges there from Cutler to cancel the spike plant. The spike will go down. It's a five on four. It's one of the first times in a while we've seen a numbers advantage here for TSM as Wardell tries to fly in with the shotgun out. Nice shots on the Shanks, follow up on the JMO, swaps the side to the rifle. And it puts all the pressure on JC Stanny and Gangsta, but hold on, they somehow make this work. The HP is low, so this is still quite difficult with Sabroza and Drone both coming through. The blaze wall is gonna go up. Wow. That's a quick flip from Sabroza and a vertical one to say the least. JC Stanny can't even go through this blaze wall because his health is so low, he died in the flames. He'll pick off the diffuser, but it doesn't matter. There should be time here for Drone to get it. 
It's going to be close, but it'll be down to about one second on the clock. We as good. TSM. We good. Money gets accumulated by Sabrosa into the next round. That could have been something very interesting to, to look into the next time. But this round, it's going to be a quick push towards this B sign. Trying to get a plant through, and that's just JMO doing it. JMO thinks. Three kills, one more to go. Cutler is inside that window on a forced buy from TSM. They get one. Portal's the camera up. And right now, they can try to burst out through the dark cover, but GC Sani has different plans. After that recon dart comes out, they just spam through the smoke because they know the execution's coming, and it's just paying off. Ford already dead. Sabrosa, not many chances to go on another lurk. That's twice that he's trying to do something for the team. Coming up from the classic, Nade to follow as well. That's going to push Drone in closer. There's the nice flash coming out from Breach. That allows Drone into that position. Meanwhile, inside the Cyber Cage, you've got Neptune with the Frenzy. Timing is everything, and it works out well. They have JMO peak from Ropes and Neptune peak from Mailroom. And that one two punch produces success. The drive by Ding Shot for Shanks is right on the money. But it's not a fatal blow. The team is trying to get back in, but Sabros is doing everything possible. JMO falls short as well, despite the fact that Sabros is low in HP. There's enough time to throw out an aid, and look at the damage that was dealt. It's a chunky boy. Shanks getting tagged up as he goes for the self heal. He's down to 42 HP. Target right around the corner, but one in B main. TSM pick up a big pistol round mid side at B side to start, but they have a five man roster to retake, and that's even huge when you get a kill on a spike carrier. TSM, down two players as they go to secure that spike plant. Spike planted. Gangsta had the paint shells named, prepped and ready. Just target right around the corner. They desperately need to find the pickup. It all happens so fast. And JC Stanny is looking for the bulldog and he's found it. A little extra firepower here. Has one shadow step as well and a dark cover in just a moment. But Drone is holding the line. Hold on, Knives after trying to come through. He's got two HP, but oh, that's a quick toss of the knife out from Wardell. Neptune is still in a sticky situation. Goes the wrong direction, and now he's gifted a rifle over to Sabrosa. Mistake from Immortals for looking at the wrong angles with those two players alive after those first knives that were missed by Wardell. But they do have a showstopper that gets denied. JC Stani still runs through. The Blaze Wall to get two kills of his own. So it's a two versus one. The odds are in favor of TSM though, because if things get sour, they still have a Rolling Thunder to work with. JMO moving through with the Ghost and the oh, Operator. The there goes the start of the fuse, and that's what I said. There goes the Rolling Thunder, and Hayes is going to be the one that's going to push in. That push in, sorry. A flash from the peak, and as you see that it's clear, that's it. Oh no. Uh, no, he just won it. Oh, they tried. Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> how does that happen? Because oh. you don't get more information for TSM. Flash for them to execute in the trade. As JC Stani gets the first kill, but Wardell stays alive oh, to trade it off. No. Hayes. JMO should have had that kill as a drive by with the Phantom, but TSM are going to be able to put the plant down. Planted. JMO had such a good position for that, but it doesn't work out well how quickly they get onto the site and execute. We talked about how Shanks is trying to change positions, but it does look like they're going to go down ropes and head back to A, where they're going to be facing off JMO first, left. and that's Hazed with a big kill. That was pivotal. It puts everything on JC Stani, who's on the site currently. There's some support coming. As you can see, Neptune and company leaping over. Gangsta's the first one to get there. That's Black the peak NA through JC Stani. Does it get two kills from inside the site? Wardell has to pop off with just 10 seconds left. And uh oh, that's not what you want to see happen. 31 HP, five seconds on the clock. And I love the move from JC Stani. Winning the round by just getting out of dodge. Immortals wins, and he'll even get the kill at the end, and especially with that tripwire going down. They have one player in sight. It's Neptune, who's only got a classic, and he's hoping he can maybe get a line of sight onto somebody and stop the spike plant. He knows there's one behind him. Is the burst where it needs to be? Yes. But there's the repeat coming in from Wardell. Gangsta with the stinger. What can Gangsta do? Peeking out. Cloud burst lands right on top of him, makes it a little bit harder to try to make something happen. His teammate coming in from heaven only has a sheriff. Shadow's traveling. So he's just going to try and throw 
that smoke down on top of the spike and hope for the best. They're sticking it currently. They've got it to halfway. Oh, man, that was a little sketchy there. But Wardell hit that far enough that they've been able to get out onto the site and guarantee a plant out of this. The boom bot coming in from TSM is not exactly going where it was supposed to. Drone will find another one, though, with his classic. Gangsta. Drops Cutler, but Drone comes through and finds a third on the round. It's all up to Shanks, who's inside. He's playing as the Reina, so he's got that self heal. He's got multiple oh. self heals. Somehow Shanks has made it almost possible. It's down to a one on one. Shanks, the stand in, the substitute, eventually <laughs> taken care of by Drone, but it got a little bit scary there as Drone has to find. They will, with the Empress, try to split back inside this B site, but it's going to be a hard one. It's going to be a three on three on that area. Shanks moving in. Quick shots out onto Hazed, and oh man, they execute quite literally onto the site. Now Wardell is present and waiting. Spike planted. So that laser beam of an op will fire right on through, taking Shanks, who is a serious threat, out of this situation. Mortals now has two players remaining. Hot hands going down into B main. Drone clearing out positions, a great flash to clear out Hells, but it's a quick one too. And now it's down to Gangsta versus Wardell, and that's awkward, but he hits it! Gangsta goes full Quake 3. But needed something to kind of bring them back to life. A bit of resuscitation that acted as a defibrillator. And that shock might be felt through the team, but not when plays like that take place. Drone hits run it back as well to advance the play further forward. JC Stani has used the ult to get into the back corner of A site, so a spike plant spike will be planted. coming through. It's a good ad adaptation from Immortals. Mm. Neptune getting into this advanced position will be pivotal. That flash is huge. Goes inside the dark cover. You need to see more from Neptune in that scenario. Losing the 1v1 against Wardell inside the smoke. Big fat paranoia coming out, flushing JC Stani back even further. TSM trying to do usually when you don't run any sentinels. But it pays off from the, the gameplay that they have, the play style they have, and they're looking to hold one more time to try to bring this to the third map. They only need these last three kills. JC Stani has other words to say, so does JMO. They turn it over to a one-minute advantage for Immortals instead. They do have a Rolling Thunder, though. They're going to let the spike time go spike down. As soon as it comes out, Drone's going to get the first kill. He knows one ran back towards the pillar. So he has to come up to where they decide to roll this Thunder from. If you could even call it that. Flash out. One player remaining. Nice shot coming out from Gangsta again oh, in a clutch me. position on the site. You know, the weapon he's got is maybe not the best given the scenario. Once that fire rate slows down, he's got one chance. Mom spaghetti. It's 13-6. <laughs> TSM takes the sauce. They didn't push in. So Sabrosa right now lurking on the back end of this play. And he's found a free kill onto JMO, and he's looking for more. Meanwhile, Neptune's over towards Spawn Stairs, trying to stop this push. They've got players coming in from B main and also stuck in the cubby after dropping out of market. There's no one on the site, so the spike will be planted. But significant damage dealt to some of the players spike from TSM. Planted. The Shadow Step might think that there was only one player playing towards logs. So Drone is still in a very big spot here, just around the corner. Neptune's trying to watch it from the market, but the retake attempt still has to be pressured on by Immortals to try to get into the site. So as the footsteps are being heard, Drone is trying to watch his versus his double peak from Shanks, and Shanks is going to win it. But it's traded off by Hayes on that sidewalk. Neptune coming in forward. His teammate right energy. behind him. He does get the first kill onto Hayes, just at the back of the side, only 11 HP, and down to zero. JC Stani picks up the last one. They get the defuse and the first point on the scoreboard. Yeah, you got to look back at that early shock dart that came through that weakened war. And they're going to look to work towards the A side with the showstopper that they just picked up. Hayes Ooh, makes contact with JC Stani, but it's too late. His teammate Sabrosa was gunned down behind him. We've got JMO, who's currently behind the big box top site. Nice blaze wall curved around the corners to allow them to get into the switch. And Drones picked off JMO. That's the A site now empty, and they are able to get out. At least try to get the spike down, but look how fast the push is already coming through for the retake. Neptune's found one as well, coming it from into heaven. They've stopped the spike plant, and it's down to 18 seconds left. They need to hold to prevent these players from coming through from A main. Shanks does so well, and it's down to Cutler. And he's running low on ammo and HP as well. The round. Feeling area. 
Here they go, though. Fast play towards the B site. We'll see if those stingers can be deadly or not. Wardell gets into the switch house, and they've actually done a decent job of overwhelming the site. It comes down to JC Stani back site, but we've seen that before. The stinger, even from that distance, can be very difficult to deal with. Now, they haven't planted the spike just yet. JMO does have the old out, so they'll spike use the planted. owl drone to clear things out as it flies over top of the roof, looking to spot out these players. Knows exactly where they're at. Miss knife from JMO wants to get vertical, though. Ends up hitting a wire. So that's a little bit disappointing. The wire bounces <laughs> back down. It's possible, of course, he could have gone for that dash out. They're going to start spamming the wall, looking to connect with Wardell, the only remaining member here of TSM. Still stuck in the boathouse in the one-on-two as the bomb ticks down further and further. The spike getting closer and closer to that detonation point. But it's Wardell Ooh. from the back side of sight as JMO makes off JC Stani. And that's opened up the site. So that op pick early on on short doesn't have all that much impact. JMO looking to line up a shot there with the dart going through. But it's just incredibly difficult for them to try to get out onto this site. Now there's the pulses coming out from Gangsta's Hunter's Fury. Nearly connects with that target back behind the generator who was on site. Very low on HP as well, so it would have been a fatality. JMO has to connect with an op here. Right around the corner they go. There's one right around the corner towards the switch. The pistol comes out. The sidearm's not strong enough. Gangsta, one on three. And surrounded. He's just looking to play to cut rotations. And there's that timing. He gets the kill. And they're probably going to split inside this east site once again. But the from, the from the shadows is canceled immediately. And JC Sana gets two kills inside the site. JC Stani inside the site. Has a couple of targets waiting on the other side and aim aim, but they've actually backed off. They've abandoned Sabrosa, who was on cat, who's also now changing directions and moving over towards mid a little bit more, but realizes he's got to stick around a bit and ends up taking care of Gangsta in the left. process. Now they've gained access to this site, which is the big part. They'll be able to get across. They get that spike plan as well. Oh, that's awkward. Luckily, the dash is present for Wardell, who ends up getting trapped inside a cyber cage as well. But he does have a bomb. And there's the peak coming up from Wardell. He plays it masterfully. JMO was not prepared. The spike's been planted. It's a two on three. How quickly things have turned in favor of TSM. One player remaining. And this round is really Sabrosa going to work. Yeah. They uh they forgot that Sabrosa was still on the flank. You know, Sabrosa's name in Latin. And if they execute, they could actually go for this double peak instead. There's the rocket coming in as Sabrosa gets vertical, but wow, okay. while he's midair, he gets sliced up by JMO. 30 seconds left. So it's a 3 2 favoring Immortals. Somehow. Yeah. We might find ourselves at a tie score line as we move into the second half. We talked about how one sided Shadows the last two maps were. How appropriate that we'd have a close game here on the third and final map of the series. Gangsta does get smoked off. Dark cover lands right on top of him. Ace is going to move in first. The knives not where they need to be, but Gangsta's able to spot out his target. That's the spike planter. The recon dart does everything. All yeah, the man. dirty work done by the recon dart. A thrifty round win. And it's going to be a full out rush. So a big hold that's coming up here for Sabrosa. And that starts with a boom bot in the face, but no kills. Shanks and Gangsta still open it up in the staircase, though. Hayes inside B site, unfortunately dropped. A three spike on planted. two with a spike plant for Immortals. Color gonna try to come back through spawn. Drone at B main. So they do have at least that map control. So they know the, the three players are pretty much pinned inside the site. Chuck Dart. And they have a Soba to actually try to get that information. They still have a recon dart, too. Recon darts from both sides, giving out some information. Drone currently sitting inside a smoke. He wants to go ahead and go through. So there's the flashbang through. Love the look as the curveball connects. But now it's all up to Drone. The hot hands goes in, forces one into the corner, and it's the molly kill onto Gangsta. The pistols come out, but time is running low. This is well played from Drone, but the clock works against him. He might not even The Owl Drone, and we're going back to pretty much what we saw from Haven and Immortals. Four Immortals run behind the Owl Drone, be very explosive, get into the science, and it's JMO, of all names again, coming in for the entry. Spike planted. And the whole W get into the site continues to work for this attacker slash. Wow. That's a great way to go for the spray, the spam, the headshot onto Shanks. 
and a 4 and 4 the spike just freshly planted. So still very doable here for TSM to retake. Cordell doing them dirty through the floor with the mop. The rest of Immortals looks to survive a little while longer. Double curveball coming out from Drone as they try to get back out. Big card. Spam coming through the floor. It's doing significant damage to some of them, but Jamos more so on the receiving end than the rest. JC Stani now falling as well as Gangsta. It's all up to the last remaining player. It was Jamo. He's low on HP. Cordell should have the time for the defuse. I don't as think so. TSM gets back into the site, it's going to be close. The spike's about to go down on a 3-3, but Wardell is about to inch out. And as he peek, he does connect up to Shanks one more time. They also have a run it back if they want to go for this aggressively, just to try to get the information, especially with Shanks, uh, sorry, Gangsta still being alive. And there you go. Run it back as Neptune gets the first kill. They know where the opponents are coming from. The last one is going to be on Catwalk, but he's made it towards the generator. Don't know if he got spotted here. Indeed it does. Looks like he has. As it gets pinged out, he gets the clutch. You well forget. done by Neptune. Hold him down. Oh, we actually already poured it into the site with JC Stani. He's poured it on the top. So he's trying to shoot his feet down. He manages to do so with help from Gangsta. He's the one that's going to be credited for the kill. But we still have a retaliation from the uh, Hunter's Fury as Cutler connects. But this spike is just now about to be planted. Three players spike already planted. rotating from TSM. Curveball early to try to go for a peak. Wardell to drop down. Spotting Neptune on a one-way smoke. Trading out at the generator. They don't know where the last player is at, though, for Immortals. So they can I'll still play this to. very slowly. But after that recon dart, you know, generator and A main now for TSM as they attempt to go for this retake. Dropping down is going to be Cutler with the headshot onto JC Stani, and Gangsta will have to try to clutch. It's a Hunter's Fury, and it's flying to where he can go for that hit. Cutler just, just wants to die with it because he oh. wants to bring it halfway. It's so well done. Sacrifice yourself to bring it halfway so that drone... He's prepared to deliver with a shotgun at point-blank range. How much will he get going for him? Now the flash goes behind him, and that's what re results in success. The follow-up shot is not a fatal blow. Now there's only one still standing inside a site. It's I Cutler, who's immediately traded out by Gangsta. The three-on-two. Portals have dead. control of the site. Drone's going to go ahead and pop the ult, run it back into the site. Great shots coming out from Woo! Drone. And all of a sudden, we're in a one-on-two. Things have quickly turned around. Drone with the 3K. Just as the ult... Interesting storylines developing. Immortal still has the lead currently. And we'll see how they decide to react. It looks like it's going to be a fast flight into the A site. Jamo again, the first one to go in. Trying to spray through the box, but it doesn't work out. Now, Wardell has picked off one with the Blade Storm. Haze was the one in sight to spot out Jamo initially, but he was traded out, spammed through the box. No surprise there. It's a three on four. They have the site control, but they don't have the numbers in their favor. So they're going to try and find something here. Deep shock darts coming out to try to do some additional Spike damage. Planted. They do have the opposing Sova very low on HP. Gangsta going into hell has to be careful watching out for the spam. The curveball is going to be set up around the corner in just a moment. As you can see, drones already got it pulled through the X-ray. This is an incredibly important round. There's the first flash recon dart going oh, no. down. They know that he's close as they start to move their way out. They get all the way across. They're trying to find the openers they need. One now the flash goes down bang. underneath, but it's Long gangsta to go big. Bang. Oh my goodness, it almost was possible there, but Wardell survives. It's gonna have to watch the rest of the round. Now Gangsta's going into a Spice different planted. spot than we typically see. Not planted at the generator at all. And look at Sabrosa as well going on that full flank. That might take a long time to develop. It might take him out of the play. Now Jamo has dropped Hazed in the attempt. Gangsta is going for this ult to do damage. He's gonna get flanked in just a moment from Sabrosa, but Cutler's picked up. Neptune in the meantime. The flank just about to come through from Sabrosa, and there it is. Oh. So you can see the recon dart was getting ready to be pulled by Gangsta, but it now comes down to two. It's Jamo and Shanks, two players that at various points have been the heroes for Immortals. Shanks from inside hell picks one off, but goes for the heal over the dismiss, and now it's all up to Jamo with just eight HP. The spike is planted for him, but he's got a peak and he's so low on health. Does he have it? He's pulled the spray back, but I don't think he's got the spike. It's gonna detonate in just a second. Immortals, they've managed to grab it by Point two zero. It's isolated and alone, or the player in A, excuse me. So that's why TSM doubles back and goes towards A, and it's a great read and allows them to get that spike down and set up for the post plan. What I also like was that when Sabrosa was spotted by Shanks, he didn't try to bring the fight. He went for a satchel charge, which at the same time broke the trap wire. 
which kind of kept Immortals caught in towards that B side and allows TSM to get that three versus one inside the site. Now the attempt to come through as T Hayes is able to get the first kill onto Shanks. Make that a third onto the board. JMO finally goes for the back step as he runs through the doorway. Crossfire set up on A main. One more to go. One at hell, one at A main. JMO out of bullets, pushing forward. That clock is ticking down. They are running up that clock and Cutler gets the kill and TSM takes the Some spam is all that's coming through for the side of TSM. Ooh. Drone with a nice flash. Catches Shanks off guard. JMO wasn't kill. able to help. There's a blaze wall that comes through as well. They're continuing this fight towards B, and they're trying to get into the site. They found the collapse on the site they need, but that's a great peek from Cutler. It's now down to two for Immortals. There's still a chance, but hope is certainly dwindling. 15 HP for JC Stani, and he's stuck in a terrible position on sidewalk. With the spike, no less. That shock dart terrifying as it comes around the corner. It's all up to Gangsta. Gangsta alone. Oh. There's a shot around the corner coming in from Wardell's off, but it doesn't come through in time. In the end, it will be Cutler.